Why is my boiler pressure too high? The causes and simple fixes. Hello, I'm Rhys Powell, Qualified Gas Safe Engineer and Director of Operations for Warmzilla. I wanted to talk through a regular issue people have with their boilers, and one of the questions we hear frequently is why is my boiler pressure too high? I wanted to take a moment to go through the causes and fixes you can do to help with this issue. If your needle is in the red section of the pressure gauge on the front of your boiler, then you're probably wondering why it's happening and how to get it back in that nice, safe, green section of optimal pressure. Let's cover the main reasons that cause an increase in boiler pressure and explain what you need to do to fix it and get your blood pressure back down too. Boiler pressure is the balance of water and air in your central heating system. Too much of one or the other will affect your boiler pressure. So, what is my boiler pressure meant to be? The sweet spot for your boiler pressure is 1.5 bar when your radiators are cold, which is in the middle of the ideal range of between 1 to 2 bars. Most boiler manufacturers recommend an optimal pressure of 1.3 bars, but don't worry if it's not quite exact, as long as it's within the working range, you won't have a problem. It doesn't matter whether you have a Valent, Worcester, Baxi or Ideal boiler, the recommended boiler pressure is the same for all major boiler brands. Anything over 3 bars is cause for concern, we would recommend getting a professional in at this point to take a look. Your pressure gauge goes up to 4 or 5 bars, depending on the model, but it's unlikely it will ever get this high. The only time the pressure would get that high is if there is an issue with the gauge itself, or your pressure release valve is jammed and the safety measures for the boiler to lock out have malfunctioned. If your boiler pressure becomes too high or too low, your boiler will lock out and cease to function as a safety precaution. An error message will usually flash on the display, letting you know why your boiler refuses to do its job. We understand how stressful it can be when your boiler isn't working as it should. That's why our expert team at Warmzilla is here to help. With our quick and reliable boiler repair service, we'll have your boiler back to its best in no time. Don't wait for things to get worse. Click the link below to book your repair today and let us take care of it before it becomes a bigger problem. Click the link in the description to book your repair now. Boiler pressure rises when the system is on. If your boiler pressure is in the normal range when your heating is off, but you've noticed the pressure increases when you put the heating on, don't worry, this is normal. A boiler's pressure will increase as it heats up and drops if it's turned off. It's only a small change in pressure, but it does fluctuate. The pressure increases as you demand heating due to water expansion throughout your system. If you're noticing a large increase in pressure when there is a heating demand, then we would recommend getting a gas safe engineer to take a look at your system and make sure it's safe. Cause 1. The system has been overfilled with water. Now that we've established what normal pressure is, it's time to look at what could be the cause of your boiler pressure being too high. Overfilling your central heating system is the most common cause of high pressure. It occurs when you repressurize your system by turning the valves on the filling loop. If you leave the filling loop valve open for too long, it will draw too much water into the system, creating an overly pressurized system. You might repressurize your system after bleeding the radiators as air can get into your system. Earlier, we mentioned the balance between water and air in the system. Think of it as yin and yang, too much of one or the other, and the balance is out. It's easy to restore balance to your boiler system and it won't cost you anything if you have a radiator bleed key. The radiator bleed key can usually be found in your home, but if not, then you can pick one up from a hardware shop. Take your radiator bleed key and insert it into the valve of your radiator and turn it anti-clockwise to release the air, then some water from your system. Have something to catch the water to hand. As water is bled from your radiator, the pressure on your boiler should come down. Bleed some water and then check your boiler pressure gauge to see if it's had the desired effect. This is the easiest and cheapest fix for high boiler pressure issues and remember to only carry this out when the heating is turned off and the radiators are cold. Fingers crossed it works for you. Cause 2. Check your filling loop valve. The second potential cause is a filling loop valve that hasn't been closed properly. 
If you've recently repressurized your system by topping up the water by opening the filling loop valve, then the valve may not have been fully closed. This would let a constant flow of water into your system, which would increase the pressure. Check both filling loop valves are turned off clockwise. This can be a cause of high boiler pressure and a very easy one to fix. It's also possible that the filling loop is passing water by, which means the valves are faulty and would require replacing. If the filling loop valves are in the off position and the pressure still rises, then this may be a cause, but it's rare. Cause 3. The faulty expansion vessel. Your combi boiler will have an expansion vessel inside. This part is responsible for keeping the pressure consistent and preventing sudden changes to your boiler's pressure. Too little air in your expansion vessel and the pressure may become too high, resulting in the water coming out of your pressure relief valve. Too much air could result in an overpressurized system. This could also result in water coming out from the pressure relief valve. Again, an issue with a faulty expansion vessel is not something you can fix yourself. You will need to get a gas safe professional to take a look and diagnose the problem. Hopefully, one of the fixes in this video will have helped you to sort out your high boiler pressure, or at least reassured you that your boiler pressure is actually within the normal range. If you have any questions about your boiler pressure not answered in this video, please leave a comment and a gas safe engineer will be able to advise you further. At Warmzilla, we're here to keep your boiler running smoothly with our expert repair services. Ensuring no matter the issue, we can get your boiler back up and running again. Click the link below to book your boiler repair. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for more tips and advice from Warmzilla.